Hello students, as you know, this week we've been learning about cells. You should know by now that cell theory means that all living things are made of cells. In this exercise, I'm going to be identifying organisms as either unicellular, which means composed or made of one cell, or multicellular which means composed or made up of two or more cells or many cells. So if you follow along with me, here in this first box we have an amoeba. This is a single celled organism that you're going to learn about as we continue to learn about cells. This is only one cell. Next we have a tree. As we learn more about cells, you're going to find out that plants are complicated organisms. They are composed of many cells. So this organism, this tree, is composed of many cells. Next, we have this slide under a microscope of a single-celled organism. So here we have a single-celled organism. That means it's composed of only one cell. That is the same for this next one as well. It is composed of only one cell, so this will be considered unicellular. Down below, we have a lizard. As we learn more about cells, you'll know that lizards are categorized as animals, which are complicated organisms made of many cells. So this lizard here is a multicellular organism. Next, we have this bacteria, and as we learn more about cells, you'll find out that many bacteria, most bacteria, are single-celled organisms, meaning composed of only one cell. Next, we have a mushroom plant. Mushrooms can be kind of tricky, as you'll learn when we learn more about kingdoms, but this mushroom plant in particular is a complex organism made of many cells. Last but not least, we have this shrimp. Like I mentioned with the lizard, a shrimp is going to be categorized as an animal, and you'll learn more about that later on. But animals are complex organisms composed of many cells. So this is a multicellular organism.